Hey guys, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spec, and today I'm playing Turok 2 Seeds of Evil on N64. And that is clearly a Twilik who has had her hair done fancy. It's, it, I, I mean, it's, it's technical, so I always think of it as hair. I've never actually played this. Um, I've owned it for some time. Greetings, it's got a very nice Turok. black cartridge. I am Adon. The elders of the lost land known as the Lazarus Concordance have charged me with the task of guiding on N64? you on the quest to stop the Primogen. The Primogen <sighs> seeks to It'll destroy the five energy totems that keep him imprisoned within the wreckage of his light ship. Sorry. If he succeeds energy in destroying totems, all five ship. energy totems, he will be freed, and the blast wave of temporal energy unleashed will destroy your universe. You must stop the Primogen to work. Protect the energy totems at all costs. You will also be given additional mission objectives as you venture deeper into each of the this, worlds that you must explore. This is so video game, isn't it? That, the port that, of Adia. That's that's what would be written this in an instruction manual. This peaceful coastal village has been utterly destroyed by the Dinosaur Army under the Primogen's command. What's weird is that in Turok Evolution, you hit new game. In you pretty much immediately season, start a new game. Like playing. This is, got, this is a cutscene. Do you see the camera movement there? Oh, what is? They are utterly evil and very dangerous. Though they do the Primogen's bidding, the dinosaurs have a more sinister and personal agenda of their own. To see humankind wiped from the face of the earth. They hate us. Your mission objectives I love them, but they special. hate us. Activate three right, distress love, you're, beacons. You're kind of going on a bit. Rescue four children. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, rescue some Activate children. Activate the warp portals. Yep. Is is Locate this the energy gonna be written down anyway? And defend it at all costs. Is this one mission on the entire game? I'm not, it's very. Jesus Christ, that was that was actiony, wasn't it? Right. Okay. Control stick is look. Um, C buttons are a move that, oh, well, this could be an issue. This could be troublesome indeed. That is attack. I appear to have a kind of X-23 or Wolverine style claw weapon. And, oh, I can jump. That's good. The only trouble is, with this current control setup, I cannot really reach any other buttons other than the R and Z. Um, and this is no longer linear. I actually don't know where I'm going at this point. Shit. What the fuck? Oh, right. <laughs> I I hit A and it, it brings up like the change weapon wheel. I, I thought I was just throwing loads of shit into the wild. Alright, so we got... We got a flare gun, a bow and arrow, and the aforementioned claw, which realistically shouldn't have been the weapon it starts with. It should be the bow and arrow. It's very dark, almost impossibly dark. Is that something I can change? I auto aim. I want that one. Thank you very much. Opacity. Oh, brightness. There we go. Alright, so I can change the resolution from low res. I bet. Oh, this is expansion pack compatible. Oh, it's also a 15. Uh, well, let's just crank this from norm up to whatever the hi highest is. Obviously, it doesn't give you a, a demo. Uh, is that. Oh, look! You can actually see the textures now. That was way too fucking dark. I don't know if it's just my monitor. Ah, it's probably just my monitor, actually. Power cell required. Okay. Okay. Very high tech stuff, but there is an old wooden cart there. Also, I'm using a bow and arrow. It's weird. Um. Right. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what I'm doing. I thought this would be a fairly easy affair, but. Actually, um. Quite involved. This, I've got these controls are fucking terrible. 
What's weird is I like Goldeneye. I played. I'm good at that, and it controls averagely. That you you can do what you want to do. This this is appalling. Apparently, I want expert mode controls, but I, I don't really want to uh, try and well try anything else. Is that a power cell? I'm, it kind of has to be because otherwise, there's nothing else here. No, don't have one. Could go swimming. Um, I feel like there's something up there, but it looks like it's just some arrows, which I don't need. This is possibly the hardest start to a game since Men in Black, which I will find one day. Must be something in there. Presumably, I'll start to drown at an undetermined time. Ah, I think those are hearts. Presumably, health. Oh. No, there's some kind of in game currency system. Time will tell what that actually means. Maybe they should buy ammo. Either way, I've got 21 of them. The fact that these Oh, love, thank you for telling me. Do not want to bear thinking about what uh Right, so there's no there's no power cell here. Maybe these are units of power and I have to get enough of them. But if I needed an X amount it would probably tell me. Plus it would be a nice round number, not fifty one. Well so they're, cl they're clearly just some random Damn it. Okay. That, that is entirely inaccessible from this angle. I don't really know what I'm looking at. It seems like they've forgotten to put any kind of textures in. Your oxygen is low. All right, love. I kinda knew. I had an inkling. I can hear like a a water drop sound effect. I don't know if it's in game. Or in the room I'm in. Uh, or it might be in my own head, actually. Third secret option. Right, so check the water. And checked. Everything else. As as is tradition, I'm now getting a phone call from former member of the crew, Danny. Hello? Alright. Did, did you call me glue stick? Oh. Yeah. Spider Man free. I said Spider Man free. I knew immediately. Well hi history loves a trier. He he does annoy me, that boy. Right, I'm 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 no longer um Thinking I'll be able to solve this problem. Wait! Break the barrel. Draw back. You fucking idiot, Ben. Is that a ladder? Yes, it's a ladder. Jesus Christ, how long was I on this for? That was so obvious. There's the power cell. Got it. One more ladder as well. It's prob probably going to loop round to what I saw at the top of that first little tunnel I was in. Christ, I've never realised how good dual analog stick controls for for modern fucking FPS games is. Because this is fucking atrocious now. Definitely found the portal as well. What has it come to in life that? Right, do, you, do you know what he called me to ask me? Right, it, the call just dropped, so I thought he'd call back. He asked me what Xbox 360 Spider-Man game did we own? The correct answer is Spider-Man 3. I'm just going to send him that. Does he not know I'm trying to record a video here? How very unprofessional. Of me, mainly not him. Slightly him. He's now asking me if it is good. What the... What the who is... Why? What... Why does the game Spider-Man 3 have any kind of relevance at this point? Okay, right, I am in 
what looks to be, quite frankly, Zelda. Enemy. Hmm. The dinosaur. Di dinosaurs? Dinosauroids? Seems smart. Uh oh. Okay, right. And the arrow is actually stuck in him. That's a pretty high level effect. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I want whatever that is. Looks like a Triforce. A level 2 key. It's like someone's like never realised that FPSs don't have to revolve almost entirely around keys. Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. Right, it takes about two arrows to kill them. I think one's dead. Alright. The other one seems to... One of them went around there. You'd think the other one followed it. Of course, if it's around the left-hand side and they've set up an elaborate raptor-style trap, I'm fucked. Alright. We've now lost the enemies. So, great. I might have killed it. I don't know. Assume it went back to rest. Shit, this is very hard to shoot. Oi! Right. I must admit, these enemies are fucking horrific. I don't know how they got the animation so good. It's genuinely impressive. Right. Wooden barrel, you're going up. It's a good fucking thing, right? When I blew up that first one, I as I drew back an arrow, I literally thought to myself, might be that's a map fucking hell. Might be a bit of a waste to use an arrow on this. I should probably just uh auto crouch, that's how you do it. I should use a, a knife to blow up, a la Resident Evil. Fucking good job I didn't, I'd have been dead. <gasps> Pistol. 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 I like that. There's an enemy in here. Or behind me. Shit. Right. You have to actually attempt to look around and aim. There it is. It's honking at me. I think I actually shot it. Fuck me. This is incredibly difficult. Do you want to know why it's so difficult? Because that's what happens when I let go. Fortunately, he seems to be throwing nothing at me. And did he just turn into a door? I think he did. That door wasn't there, was it? Um, I've got a feeling games didn't actually start to have reload functions until a little bit after this. Did James Bond reload? In James Bo in, in Goldeneye, he reloaded. That I um, must be wrong because I. I don't have the specifics of the dates, but the fact that this is a sequel to the first one probably means that there was time for them to have made Goldeneye in the middle. Again, no real idea of the dates on these. For all I know, when I, when I got my N64, this one I'm playing on, it had actually been discontinued, to be honest. I haven't, I haven't really got a good uh, idea of, of time scale. I can't get out of here. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of that. I haven't seen any ladders, and there are no small ledges, and this is a dead end. No, no, it's not a dead end. I bet I can climb that. Been wrong before, I'll be wrong again. Mantle? Oh, that actually worked. Starting to think that I should have really gone back and used that power cell because, quite frankly, I suspect it would have given me something useful. When I climb a ladder, I often make this noise. Sounds like I'm stepping on small dinosaurs. I wonder if there's any small dinosaurs I can step onto to prove that theory. Uh, pretty sure I've been here before. Level 2 door? Um, 
I don't think there's any kind of action button. I think you just mash yourself up against things and, and if it's meant to be, it, it, it will be. I bet there's a hundred of these in the level, that's my guess. Okay. that open the door? If so, I want a weapon. I wonder if this is one of the early, earlier examples of a, a weapon select wheel like that. So I, I, in my head, I can't think of anything earlier. Most of the time, you'd either open a menu and do it, or uh, you you just cycle through them one by one. Which uh, obviously is that looks like a Flash hand grenade. Light. Flashlight. They, they really went all out with that voice actress, didn't they? Not a huge number of enemies, is it? You can tell, because it was a sequel, they, they kind of figured, well, we've already got like most of our audience. We... Hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to like sell the game in the first level. They... Shit. That one's got a weapon. He doesn't, he doesn't know how to use it, but he's got it. <gasps> a child. I must save them. I'm not going to lie. It, this has got like the, the pacing of not... Not quite a modern FPS because we've gone a bit weird with them, where, where it's like a, a thousand percent all the time. But it, it's got certain modern sensibilities. I think I can make that. Yeah, fuck it, let's go for it. Oh shit! Ah, oh, I bet there's an enemy down below. Have I got anything I can hit that with? Fuck it, use, use, use a flare. Oh, it's not a flare. Oh, no, it is a flare. I thought it was a taser. Kind of looks like one. I like the fact that she knows who I am. Like, she's crying and saying my name. Apparently, well, Turok 2 is, is like a secret masterpiece. I, know, I, I knew it was good, but I didn't realise it would be quite this good. I have no nostalgic value for this. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Well, there wasn't a, an enemy down there. Wow, this is elaborate as fuck. Three lives remaining. Well, I think that's that's a good point to end on. 20-ish 20, 20 minutes of that. F probably 15 with the phone call. That was Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. I might revisit this because I did notice there were cheats on the main menu, which means I can fr throw those in and investigate because I, I know there's some pretty sick weapons in here eventually. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.